What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Sorry for uh, not uploading of the past couple weeks. I've been pretty bad about it, but in my defense, I have been very busy. Uh, we are in the process of buying a house, so I'll definitely give you guys a video update uh, with that, but we're currently in the process of negotiating and kind of coming up with a price that um, we're willing to pay and that the buyer will be happy to, to receive. But also, I went ahead and finally bought a coin scale. That way I can save myself a tremendous amount of time on my route, uh, as well as uh, when I get back home and getting the quarters together. So I'm thinking that should cut uh, the amount of time it takes me to do my route pretty close to in half because of how much time it does take to count all those quarters, especially in those locations that do have, you know, a hundred or two or three hundred dollars worth of quarters at them. Definitely takes a long time to count those by hand. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Go ahead and collect some of these machines and I will catch you all in a minute. Here we are at the first stop of the day. Uh, this is a auto shop, a uh, Hispanic auto shop that is one of my decent locations. Doesn't generally absolutely kill it, but certainly not a bad location. But while I'm going ahead and getting this one all ready to go, uh, I just want to uh, take a really quick minute and thank you all so so much as i'm sure you probably noticed in the beginning of the video i have finally reached a monetization for youtube so that is really really surreal it is just absolutely amazing and i cannot express how grateful i am to each and every one of you who subscribes to all of my videos and watches them all as well uh, it just really means so much and you know i'm going to be taking some of the money that i'm making uh, from the uh, advertisements, though it's going to be a very small right now. Uh, I'm going to try to save it up and buy some better equipment. That way I can really upgrade these videos, make them look a lot nicer for you guys. Get a really nice recording camera, get some uh, good audio recording equipment as well. Really make sure that everything is just absolutely amazing. So, yet again, thank you so much for that, guys. It really does mean a lot. Anyway, so here we are finishing up this location and making sure all the candy is nice and full. Now, as you can see, I generally fill them about halfway. Uh, you don't want to fill them so much that uh, the candy doesn't sell before it goes bad. But a mistake I made at the very beginning, especially when I originally bought the gentleman's route, is only filling it up but a little bit, maybe a quarter of the way. And I think it definitely sells a lot better if you fill it up more. So definitely fill up your uh, candy as much as you can, ensuring it doesn't go bad. And here is the coin scale that I mentioned I got in the beginning of the video. Uh, definitely super glad I bought this thing. Uh, ended up taking my route altogether from taking about six hours uh, down to only about three hours. So it really cut my time in half. So I highly recommend you get one if you haven't. But this location ended up doing, as you can see, about $46. So not great, but definitely not terrible. Here we go, we are now at the next stop for the day. Uh, this one is a car wash and it uh, generally does okay, not great, but de definitely a location worth keeping. Uh, I will say that it generally does better in the summertime. I've noticed it's picked up a little bit since the summer uh, than it does in the winter, which makes sense seeing how it is a car wash. And if you guys have a route or some kind of occupation that you need to count a lot of quarters or really any other coin, I do highly recommend you get one of those coin scales. Uh, I have a link in the description if you are interested in buying one. I would never endorse something that I would not be uh, buying myself or am happy with my purchase. So even though it did cost me about $400 and it, that is quite a bit pricey for what it is, it is worth every penny and the amount of time it saves me is tremendous. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link in the description if you do uh, need something like that. Anyway, uh, back to the route. Uh, go ahead and break out that coin scale I was just talking about. 
to uh, see how much uh, this location made and go ahead and put the or first I guess I'm unlocking the coin bank but go ahead and put on the uh, I guess tray and then zero it out uh, you can see how quickly this thing counts quarters uh, and this one ended up having 5150 in about two months but look at how fast that counts it just in a split second it's great now we are at uh, the pizza location that I am sure so many of you are well aware of by now this is one of my absolutely best locations uh, this spot makes it into just about every collection video just because it does that well go ahead and open it up and not the best angle there but you can see it is pretty full sorry about the angle not being able to see all the quarters go ahead and dump them in um, now I do pay a commission at this spot like yet again I'm sure you all know so I uh, have to account them on location before I get out to my car uh, and that's really where this uh, coin scale comes in handy can do it in a couple of seconds rather than taking 20 minutes to count them all out so go ahead and wipe down this machine I really like these machines they're the shooting hoop machines they're super fun uh, you just it, a quarter per play you spits out a gumball and you kind of just try to shoot it into the hoop uh, you don't win anything extra but it's just kind of fun and interactive to do uh, go ahead and fill up this thing I always try to fill this one up as much as I can because you know every once in a while if I go more than a month uh, without collecting this location this thing will be really really close to empty if even sometimes when I come after just one month if I don't fill it quite to the top it'll be just about empty so that is really a great problem to have when you're in this business especially when you're selling the gumballs here that only cost about three cents a piece I mean that's just fantastic I love selling the gumballs and definitely want to be pushing more gumballs at more of my locations overall now time to count up and see how much this location made this time around saw a little spot on the screen not really sure it was like that but it ended up going away and hasn't popped back up since so that's good I would have been pretty upset if there was an issue with it <laughs> that quickly but yet again go ahead and pop on the tray zero it out and then got to go ahead and dump all the quarters in now don't know what's taking me so long here anyway hit the zero out and then go ahead and dump in all of the quarters so you can see how much it made and just look at all that that is just great hundred and twenty seven dollars and seventy five cents selling just a silly little gumballs I am so happy about that anyway go ahead and take it all out and count out how much I have to give for a commission now one thing about the coin scare as well you do have to sift through and make sure there's no other different types of coins because it'll miscalculate uh, because it'll it's done by weight so if you have like 10 nick uh, nickels in there it's going to give you the wrong amount in there overall now here we are uh, this is the trampoline park um, it was super crowded there was two uh, school buses full of kids in here and oh my gosh next time I see that I'm just gonna turn around I was really a pain to a service them with all the kids there coming up and asking for money and asking for uh, free toys and normally I don't mind that and I'll give them a, a quarter or two to uh, use my machine but when there's about a hundred kids in there coming up every two seconds to ask for a quarter I can't give away that many quarters I wouldn't make a profit but anyway go ahead and get all the of this weighed up this has currently for this collection had two four-way machines and the rack and collected a whopping three hundred and thirty four dollars and fifty cents for one month now go ahead and count out from another spot this one was from a Hispanic hair salon uh, now this one had been sitting for about two months and uh, I didn't manage to film inside of that one either um, I try not to film when it's too busy and um, it does slow me down a lot filming so I try to get most of the locations but I can't always get all of them but look at that $91.50 uh, 
uh, for two months. Definitely not bad. So here we are back home. Look at all those quarters. Got a full peanut M&M jar and then another about half full jar. So go ahead and break out that scale yet again. God, I love this thing. Such a lifesaver, such a time saver. It is just fantastic. So go ahead and see what we totaled out for the whole day. Uh, there was a few stops we didn't get to. Ended up collecting two fifty four fifty for that, and then the second one brings us up to six hundred and thirty dollars and fifty cents. Look at that! That is awesome. All right, and that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And please, as always, remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with a friend. And one more time, thank you all so much for finally getting me to a monetization. It really means a lot, and I will catch you all in the next one.